Whether you are into overlanding, rock crawling, exploring back roads, or camping in remote places, Trails Off Road has a new adventure waiting for you. We are happy to announce a new way to safely and confidently explore the great outdoors with our new iOS app. Hey guys, John here with Trails Off Road, and today we're out here on one of my favorite trails in Northern Colorado, Old Flowers Road. We're out here because I'm super excited to present to you our newest iteration of Trails Off Road. We've been working hard these last few months to release all of our consistent and quality information that you know and love on a brand new platform, your iPhone or iPad. With new technology comes a new learning curve. So I wanted to take this opportunity to go over some of the features of this new app and show our community members how to get the most out of it. Let's begin. Let's start by opening up the app. You will be greeted with our sign up page. If you are a new user, fill out these four fields and click create account. If you are a current member on the site, click the login link just underneath. The screen will present you with an email and password fields to log in with. Upon successfully logging in, you will be presented with a prompt to ask you whether you allow Trails Off Road to use your location. You are going to want to select Allow so we can use your position to find trails near you. The first view that you will land upon will be our main map page. Feel free to navigate around and look for trails of your interest. The search bar in the top of the screen will also help you find trails. Two more features on this main map screen are the legend located in the bottom left and the base map layer selector located in the top right. Let's click on a trail to see what the new trail information screen looks like. A new screen will slide up from the bottom of your device and you'll be presented with the main image of the trail guide. Starting from the top, you will notice a heart to favorite a trail. Just below that, you will notice an icon depicting several images. You can click on the image itself or the icon and start sliding left or right with your finger to present the next or previous image of this guide. Click the X in the top left to close this screen. Feel free to take a second to look around at the guide and all the information it has to offer. Our All Access members get all the same details from our website such as the advanced rating system and complete waypoint information. When you are done, click the X in the top left or slide back down with your finger. Let's navigate over to the Favorites tab. Here will be a list of your favorite trails. You can see a bit of info about each trail, or you can click on the button to view the trail on the map. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. Let's look for the offline tab on the bottom of your device and click on it. You will see a list of states that you can download information for to use offline in the field where there is no service. When downloading offline, you are going to want to be in a place with a strong internet connection, such as your home with Wi-Fi. Let's navigate to a state of our interest and click on it. You will be prompted with a dialog box that is letting you know that this could take a bit of time. What is happening when you download a state is we are not only grabbing all of our trails off-road information for that state, but all the map tiles so you can see all the roads and trails we don't have in our system, as well as some topographic features such as lakes, rivers, and mountain peaks. These downloads will take a bit, so just sit tight and let the download process complete. When it has completed, you will see the downloaded state show up in the top section of the offline tab. Now that you have all of your states of interest downloaded onto your device, you are now ready for offline adventure. Do you remember seeing a blue button on the trail information screen just underneath the pictures? This is a new feature for us here at Trails Off-Road, and that is the ability to follow a trail. Let's pack up, hop in the rig, and go hit the trail, and I will show you how that works. Okay, here we are out on the trail. Let's open the main map view and click on the arrow icon on the bottom right, which will find our current position. We will now click on the nearest trail to us to bring up the trail information view. Look for the follow button just underneath the images and click on it. A new screen will appear with all of the waypoints. 
At this point, the device is automatically tracking you and will bring up a new waypoint when it finds you closer to the next waypoint. This will work in either the forward or backwards direction of how the trail is mapped. You can also slide on the waypoints to show upcoming waypoint information, which will position the screen to where that waypoint's location is on the map. Each waypoint has a read more link with more information about that waypoint. Well, that's it for now. As usual, if you are ever having issues, please leave us a feedback and we will address your problems as soon as we can. As we get more feedback from the app, we will start to trickle in new functionality. So let us know what you would like to see. Also, for our Android users, stay tuned because our new Android app is right around the corner. And with that being said, it's time to go explore. Thank you for watching and we'll see you out on the trails.